Good morning, scholars, and welcome to Read Aloud with Miss Castle. Today is Thursday. I'm so glad you are here with me today. We are continuing our fairy tale week with Cinderella, and we have another fun version of Cinderella for you today. I cannot wait for you to enjoy it and see how it's different. Because remember, we're telling how they are the same and how they're different. Well, this one's way different to the normal Cinderella. And I cannot wait for you to see it. I think you're going to think it's so funny. So let's get started, everybody. Let's go. Okay, scholars, I want you to tell me what those five characteristics of a fairy tale are. I'm ready to hear them. Whoa, you did that awesome, awesome job. I'm going to tell them to you as well. Number one is they begin with once upon a time. Next, there's good and evil characters. They have a happy ending like they all lived happily ever after. There's the rule of three, and there's a problem that needs to be solved. And I always like to see in the stories, what's the problem and how do they solve it? It's one of my favorite parts about a fairy tale. Let's go do our fairy tale chant. Fairy tale chant, get ready, go. Fairy tales are stories that start with once upon a time and have good and evil characters and have a happy ending. You are getting better and better at that every single day. I love it so much. Let's go look at the feeling word in today's story. Today, our characters can feel very eager. What does it mean to feel eager about something? You're right. In that picture, there's a boy and he's eager to buy that toy. He has his dollar bill, he has his robot, and he is eager to go get that toy so he can go home and play. I also have the word eager in a sentence to help us figure it out a little bit more. And it says, I eagerly waited in line to ride the Ferris wheel. I was so ready. I wanted to go up. I was looking at it. It looked like so much fun. And I really, really, really wanted to do it. I was so eager. So that's another example of being eager. The story that we're going to read today is going to be Prince Cinders. Whoa, I already see some big differences in this story already and it hasn't even begun. I bet you have already spotted it too. So in today's story, I want you to first compare and contrast how is the book similar and different to the books that we've read so far. Then I want you to make a prediction. So in the story, I'm going to pause it and have you make a prediction of what we think Prince Cinders is going to do next in the story. So we don't know what it's going to be yet, but we are going to have our brains ready to make a prediction when the book pauses and asks you a question. So make sure you're ready for that prediction time so you can get your brain thinking, what do you think is going to happen next? I hope you enjoyed this fun take on Cinderella with Prince Cinders. I'll see you when it's all done. Prince Cinders by Babette Cole Prince Cinders was not much of a prince. He was small, spotty, scruffy, and skinny. He had three big, hairy brothers who were always teasing him about his looks. They spent their time going to the palace disco with princesses' girlfriends. They made poor Prince Cinders stay behind and clean up after them. When his work was done, he would sit by the fire and wish he was big and hairy like his brothers. One Saturday night, when he was washing the socks, a dirty fairy fell down the chimney. All your wishes shall be granted, cried the fairy. Ziz, ziz, boom, tick, tack, ta, this empty can shall be a car. Biff, bang, bong, bo, 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 to the disco you shall go. That can't be right, said the fairy. Toe of rat and eye of newt, your rags will turn into a suit. Drat, thought the fairy. I didn't mean a swimsuit. Your greatest wish I'll grant to you. You shall be big and hairy too. Prince Cinder's got big and hairy all right. Rats said the little fairy, wrong again, but I'm sure it'll wear off at midnight. Prince Cinders didn't know he was a big, hairy monkey. Scholars, let's make a prediction. Do we think he's going to go to the disco looking like that? Yes or no? 
because that's the kind of spell it was. He thought he looked pretty good. So off he went to the disco. The car was too small to drive, but he made the best of it. But when he arrived at the Rock and Royal Bash, he was too big to fit through the door. He decided to take the bus home. A pretty princess was waiting at the stop. When's the next bus? He grunted. Eek! Luckily, midnight struck and Prince Cinders changed back into himself. The princess thought he had saved her by frightening away the big, hairy monkey. Wait! She shouted, but Prince Cinders was too shy. He even lost his trousers in the rush. Trousers is a fancy word for pants. The princess was none other than the rich and beautiful Princess Lovely Penny. She put out a proclamation to find the owner of the trousers. The Princess Lovely Penny decrees that she will marry whoever fits the trousers lost by the prince who saved her from being eaten by the big hairy monkey. Filling sessions begin today, Princess Lovely Penny. Every prince for miles around tried to force the trousers on, but the trousers refused to fit any of them. Of course, Prince Cinder's brothers all fought to get into the trousers at once. Let him try, commanded the princess, pointing at Cinder's. They won't fit that little squirt, sneered his brothers. But they did. Princess Lovely Penny proposed immediately. So Prince Cinders married Princess Lovely Penny and lived in luxury happily ever after. And Princess Lovely Penny had a word with the fairy about the big hairy brothers, whom she turned into house fairies, and they flitted around the palace doing the housework forever and ever. The and welcome back everyone that story was so different did you like it i sure did i liked that it was completely different than the normal cinderella book well while we're talking about differences let's talk about it remember we wanted to compare and contrast so let's start with contrasting which is what's different what's something really different about prince cinders and cinderella yeah one's a boy and one's a girl Prince Cinders is a boy, and then Cinderella is a girl. So that's a huge difference, which I know that everyone picked up on. What's another difference? Yeah, this fairy godmother was not able to do the things correctly. Remember, in Cinderella, she went bippity boppity boo, and she gave her a beautiful gown. Well, in Prince Cinders, she did all these little spells with her wand, but then everything kind of backfired. None of it really worked. She wanted to give him a nice handsome suit and she gave him a bathing suit. And she wanted to make him look nice and big and hairy like all of his brothers, but then he looked like a gorilla, like a monkey. So all of the things she wanted to do didn't turn out the right way. So that was a big difference as well. Can you think of any other differences? Yeah, he lost his trousers. And remember I said trousers was a fancy word for? Yes, pants. So he lost his pants. Oh boy, that would be so embarrassing if you lost your pants. Yeah, so he lost his pants, but in the normal Cinderella story, what does she lose? Yeah, she loses her shoe, so that's another difference. It is similar that they both lost something, but they lost different things. Let's talk about some of the similarities in our story. So how are they the same? Yeah, so there was a fairy godmother. They both wanted to go somewhere, but couldn't. They all lived happily ever after. Yeah, and then Prince Cinders and Cinderella both had to clean. So Prince Cinders also had like dust and dirt on his body because he was sitting by the fireplace cleaning, just like Cinderella did. Those are a lot of similarities as well. I love how you picked up on that. Did you pick up on any elements of a fairy tale or any characteristics? They all lived happily ever after. Once upon a time, and then of course, I kind of already mentioned it, they had a problem and they had to solve it. Those were three great elements of a fairy tale that we saw in this story. Very, very impressed, guys. Very impressed. I wanted you to make a prediction. We saw him looking like a big gorilla, and I wanted you to predict, was he going to go to the disco or not? Did you think he was going to go? 
Yeah, I didn't think he was going to because, well, he was a big, scary-looking monkey, a big gorilla. I would not want to be going somewhere where there are people if I looked like that because I have a feeling that if I looked like that, I was going to scare everybody away. So I probably wouldn't go. So I predicted that he was not going to go because he looked like a gorilla. What was your prediction? Yeah, you thought he was going to go, didn't you? <laughs> I love it. But when he got there, he wasn't actually able to get in. He was too big. He wasn't able to fit through the door. Yeah, so he tried, though. So we know he did try to go in, but he couldn't fit. So he waited by the bus stop, which is when he met Princess Lovely Penny. When was he eager in the story? Remember, eager is when he really, really, really wants to do something. Yeah, he really, really, really wanted to go to the disco, but then he couldn't. And then once he became the gorilla, he still wasn't able to go because he was too big to fit through the door. So he really, really, really wanted to go, but he couldn't. I loved how you picked up on so, so, so many things. I want you to click the link below and I want you to answer a couple questions. I want you to answer, did you get your prediction correct? I also want to hear some of the similarities and differences in this story to the other stories we've read so far. And I know we know a lot of them because we talked about them together. So if you do not remember, you can always go back in the video and listen to some of the similarities and differences in our story. You can answer the questions from the link below. I look forward to reading all of your responses as always. Have a great rest of your day. And tomorrow's Friday. We have one more story for Cinderella's week. Goodbye, everyone.